हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू द सिविल इंजीनियरिंग यूट्यूब चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल फॉर डेली सिविल इंजीनियरिंग वेजेस टुडे आवर लेक्चर इज अबाउट द रिजिड पेमेंट इज वी नो दैट वी हैव डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द पेमेंट लाइक द फ्लेक्सिबल पेमेंट द रिजिड पेमेंट्स द ग्रूनर पेमेंट बट द मेन टाइप ऑफ द पेमेंट्स आर द फ्लेक्सिबल एंड रिजिड पेमेंट फॉर द वीडियो अबाउट द फ्लेक्सिबल पेमेंट गो टू द गो टू माय चैनल यू कैन फाइंड द वीडियो अबाउट द फ्लेक्सिबल पेमेंट एंड आल्सो आई हैव गिवन द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द फ्लेक्सिबल एंड रिजिड पेमेंट you can find in the link given below in the description so i want to know i want you to know about the rigid payment and the cross section of the rigid payment this is the cross section of the rigid payment and at uh, the cross section of the rigid payment is different from the flexible payment uh, let's consider that this is the road and uh, this is the one side of the road and this is the other side of the road and this is the mid section of the road is the mid section of the road and where the vehicle moves in one direction and on the other side the vehicle moves on the other direction so this is called the longitudinal section of the uh, road or the pavement and if we cut out here in this way so let's consider this is the aa so this is the cross section aa of this road and this is uh, the cross section of this pavement which is is rigid pavement in this case i am going to discuss the rigid pavement cross section so uh, the cross section of the rigid pavement is Are the similar like the flexible payment the load distribution is the same that how the flexible uh, load transfer from one layer to another layer but in this case uh, we have some different layers the bottom most layer of the rigid payment is the subgrade or the uh, we can say the natural soil but it has been compacted well subgrade layer so that it can resist the whole load because the whole load will be transferred from the above to the bottom and will take the whole load will be taken by the separate layer let's consider this is any udl which is the uh, which is the load of the vehicle this is a separate layer uh, which should have high strength to resist and to take this whole load the layer about the separate layer is the sub base layer the same is we have in the flexible payment this layer is also used for the frost protection layer for the frost resistance and we also for the drainage so that we have good drainage in our payment we provide the service layer also called as the frost protection layer because this layer is mainly for, for the frost protection due to the temperature changes uh, when the when there is cool down of the temperature uh, then we provide this layer so that we have the resistance to the frost deformation the layer above the sub base is the base course or we call as the base layer which is used mainly for the load transfer uh, But to load transfer and to take the load from this far from the above layer and to transfer it to the bottom layer so the load will be transferred like in this way similar as in the flexible payment the rigid payment the load will transfer from the above to the bottom first of all the load will be taken by the above layer then base layer then sub base then sub grade so the base layer should do high strength and is the and his should be the property of load distribution so that the load can be easily transferred to the bottom layer the layer about the sub base layer the base layer is the concrete or we can say the concrete slab concrete slab we provide the concrete slab uh, about the base layer so that we have a rigid behavior of the payment that's why we call it the rigid payment uh, it doesn't have more ductility as we have in the flexible payment that's why we named it rigid so that it shows the rigid behavior of the payment it it behavior doesn't follow the flexible way which we see in the flexible payment and the concrete slab is been provided on the top of the base layer so the load of the udl load of the truck maybe car buses transfer from the uh, transfer from the concrete slab to the base layer base layer the transfer this load to the sub base layer and then from the sub base layer the load finally transfer to the sub grade and then to the natural soil right this is the way that how we transfer the load from the above to the bottom layer safely this was all about the rigid payment and if you if you want to know about the difference between the rigid and flexible payment i provided the video in the link go there and watch the video and hope you guys understand about the rigid payment and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily seven engineering videos thank you for watching my video